welcome to another Little Spark vlog. We got a special vlog today for you. We are here at Disney's Palm and Magnolia and Oak Trail Golf Courses, which is located at the Shades of Green Resort, which is a military resort that Disney has on property, right across from the Grand Floridian. And today we're gonna to play 18 holes at the Palm Golf Course. The Magnolia Golf Course is unfortunately down for some course reimagination and redoing a couple of the holes, but we're gonna play 18 holes at the Palm. We, they did warn us when we checked in, it's early in the morning, it's our tee time's at 7.40, but they did warn us that the course conditions are very wet right now. And they actually have a two hole guarantee. So if we don't like the conditions after two holes, we can get our money back essentially. Yeah. And so as you can see behind us, I believe they must have aerated the practice green and. Must have had some water damage or something to it, but yeah. I think we're gonna do match play today. So Alex is gonna give me five strokes on the five toughest holes because yeah. he's a better golfer than me. So to try to even it out. It depends on the day, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And I think we are gonna be matched up with two other people. So we'll try we'll to see how that goes. We'll try to video what we can without being <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Out on the first fairway, Alex. Wet. Really wet. And he is on the green. Bounced right over that trap there. Pretty uh, wet here. I definitely uh, beat Alex on that hole. I shot a six, so a little bogue. What'd you shoot, Alex? I ended up shooting a six as well, but because, but because uh, I gave Marcus a stroke on that hole, I really got a seven. Yep. So Marcus ended up taking that hole on me. about the GPS golf carts. It tells exactly how far you are to the pin. So Alex is right in front of the bunker. Got some more wildlife. And he's about 158 yards away. So Alex, uh, what do you think about the, the course right now? Very wet. Very, very wet. 
but it's funny because like you don't even take a dip in it, but yet you're picking up a bunch of dirt, or not even dirt mud because it's just so wet. Yeah, and your ball does not roll no. at all. It's just gonna. It's gonna once sit it hits the ground, it stays. It sit, stays. Sit and plug. Yeah. So no bump and runs today. You gotta kind of go for right exact distance and just attack the pin. Yeah, you club up and try to attack the pin because it's not it's not going anywhere. It's not you're not gonna roll. You're no. not gonna roll. No, not at all. So I'm going for my third shot on the second hole, and Alex is going for. <laughs> um, I'll be putting for four. He'll be putting for four. After an atrocious, <laughs> atrocious off the tee again. I didn't even make it to the women's tees. Okay. We got some great views here. Look at that, you got the Polynesian right over there. We got Marcus about to chip on. A little bit to the right, but should be able to putt it. First part three of the day, hole number three. So we tied on that hole? Yep. We'll tally it up after. and straight. Alex's second shot. Did not take into account the slope and he's on the left side. Didn't break at all. Okay, so Alex won that hole. He shot a five, I shot a six. Definitely playing uh, double bogey golf right now, but. Uh, I mean, it's not even that much stop putting. Those easy putts that we should be making aren't falling. Maybe fading into the bunker. I think you're in the bunker. Went in the woods, car path woods. Okay, I got that on video. So you guys know how actually muddy it is. When Marcus was on the side of the cart hitting the ball, I got some dirt chunks or mud chunks on me. I don't know if you could see it, but pretty muddy. So I have conceded the fifth hole, round five. The fifth hole to Alex, like just, I got into trouble early and couldn't escape the rough. Like I, I was fluffed up in the rough and then I hit it literally 30 feet. 
because my entire club head went where, underneath the ball. Before, if it wasn't so muddy, your dad actually would have been slow shot. I, 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 and look how much mud I got. I ended up being 50 yards short, yep. and I, it was fluffed up and it was perfect. I got this before I got the Mickey sand wedge right here. Time to put it in the hole. Take it home. Take it home. Uh, you didn't take it home, Alex. <laughs> scenery with the water you got the tea box there great view the water got the little bridge the holes out in the distance mark is gonna lay up here because in the distance there you can't see it but the car path runs right through the fairway Yep. Laid it up. Wasn't going to hit the green. Wasn't going to take the chance over the water. Because for right Happy. here, he's 240 out. So we hit about, I don't know, buck 20. Yeah. He'll have a good shot at the green at that point. What's the matter, Alex? The torque time you've done that. Uh, I hit it too. I didn't see splash either. Stuck. Watch out for the gators, Marcus. And they win this hole now. So what we should have done is marked on the uh, golf cart before we started what holes I get my strokes on because, but we'll just do it at the end. Um, and then we'll tally it up. We won't go like hole, hole by hole because like, yeah. technically you beat me by a stroke, but I don't know if that was one of the harder holes. Well, not. here's what we'll do. We'll give you on the par fives a stroke and then we'll figure it out at the end. Yeah. Disney trash. Yep, we cleared it. I don't know what's on the other side, but. A little off to the right, but not bad.
So Alex definitely hit it within like six feet yeah. of the hole on the, the par three eighth hole. So you have a great chance for your first birdie in Disney. Yeah. First mean, bird, first bird of the day. Most likely I'll miss him for, uh, for uh, par anyway. Yeah, he's not good at these shots. Good two putt. Yeah, the very, yeah. He's got two putt for par. Ooh, good line, good line, good line. That's a good uh, par temp right there from that distance. So, both got pars on that hole. Yep. So that felt good. First par of the day for me. Is that the first par of the day for you? No, the par five is the first par for me. Straight to the splash down. So one thing that we're hoping to see is an actual gator in the wild because I've never seen one. We've never seen one in the wild. And I really want to. I want to, I don't want to see one in captivity. I want to see a wild one. Yep. You want to be scared out of your mind when you're about to go for a golf shot by the water and a gator comes up. Which I just did. So hopefully we'll see one. The only thing is it's kind of cold. So I don't think the gators will be out and about because they're going to go just deeper in. Water for so, probably not today. And that's not good. So Alex hit into the water on his tee shot, took a drop. I had a horrible second shot out of the rough and pretty much stuffed it like 40 yards in front of me. But so now, solid recover solid recovery because my third shot, I'm on the I should be on the green, decently close to the flag. Maybe I'm a little far, but good recovery for me. Hit the hill, hit the hill. Nope, stayed up. Just sure. So after nine, I'm up four to two on Marcus and match play. We'll tally up the uh, strokes at the end. Yeah. Um, but so far, love the course. I wish it was a little drier. Yep. Definitely want to come back though and play this like in the spring or the summer, or even the winter when it's really dry. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we were gonna play no matter what. Uh, yeah. We brought our golf clubs down for this reason, so we you know we were gonna play. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. More golf. So. so first sand of the whole day on the tenth hole. So that's quite amazing. That's better. The vlog doesn't lie though, Alex. It did see that. <laughs> So it may look like I did that on accident, hitting the pin, but I was, it was actually on purpose. It was actually on purpose. Yep. I was so confident in my line that I just, you know, I was like, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it. I'm just gonna go for it. Yep. Too bad it didn't drop though. That would've been nice if it dropped. That would've been a part, but bogey.
so I used my 5 wood for the first time today. I was debating using the 11 wood and just laying up, and I but I didn't. I, I decided to, I decided to go for the green, and it backfired. I sliced it hard into the woods. I hope it's open over here. If not, I gotta take a drop. Yeah, no, you're take I am done. You're gonna drop right here. Okay, I will drop right here. Solid recovery by me. It doesn't help that uh, I hit it into the woods, and Alex is probably in really good shape. Uh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough for me to win this whole bike. Probably get a stroke. No, not in this one. Not this in this one? one. My ball's right here. Oh yeah, I'm, unless Alex three puts this, then I'm not gonna win this one. Oh, oh, that helps me. <laughs> Thanks, that Alex. Way too much. And he's on. So head into a par three right now. I think we're tied up match play. You did end up going for the scorecard. Yep. Uh, this is the 12th hole. Yep, number 12. Number 12, par three. Let's it looks go. like a short par three. Oh, we chunked that. We didn't record much of that hole because it was kind of ugly from both of us. I ended up salvaging a four. And what did you end up getting? Five? Five. Five. And that's not including the mulligan that we both took off the tee because we had such awful tee shots. We hit them fat and it only went like 50 yards each. Oh, this hole's nice. Look at this. Like, you see that uh, like light oh, green tree? Okay. Tee's over there. 270 right to the green. Are you on the green? Oh, that's on the green. Oh my goodness. Okay, Alex. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Best but, drive of the day. Probably the best hole I'm gonna have this whole golf trip. Too bad it's in the first day. But the, the, the big stick came out. Big, big stick. 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 Uh, this is uh, a lot better than uh, what happened on my first two holes when I dumped two <laughs> dives in a row. So it's good that I'm actually driving pretty decently. But look at this view. This is Florida golf. Oh, you're on the edge. This is the current situation right now. I'm sitting two, right here. This white ball over here is Alex's tee shot on this par four, about 280 yards to the flag from all the way back there. This will be for Eagle. Not bad. Oh, you weren't going to leave it short. No. Oh. Okay. Now, don't miss this birdie putt. <laughs> no, I will. <laughs> that a boy, that a boy. You birdie? No, I'm not. Five. Five. Well, Alex, at least you didn't miss that birdie putt. I know. The pressure was on there. <laughs> I've been missing those putts all day. I know. Nice. Um, you'll be safe.
my second shot is into the water over here. So if he clears the water, then he probably wins. On gators. Come on, gator, gator. Gator, gator, gator. You think if I jump in? Yeah, jump, exactly. yeah, yeah, jump, jump in, uh, make a little bit of noise. Oh, good pot. So Alex smoked his drive right there. My second shot hit a little bit to the right of the green. Pins right there. Let's see what Alex can do with the second shot. And Bambi paid us over the visit on the 17th. So I think the 17th was the nail in the coffin. Pretty sure Alex definitely won this match. Even but, uh, the last one was a nail in the coffin. Yeah. The, he's been, Alex has been playing lights out on the back nine. I would no one would have known. Birdie, par, par, birdie. No one would have known that you topped your first two drives and dumped them really bad. Because yeah, you are under par for the back nine. <laughs> Way to end your uh, fantastic back nine, Alex. Yep, yep, just, just three putt it. <laughs> now let me finish up mine. <laughs>